Okay, so today we're looking at the integral of one over e to the x plus one with the limits zero and infinity. And actually the limits are gonna be the hardest part of this problem. So there's a few ways to tackle this. We could use a substitution, for example. Um, this would work, but it would lead to a slightly messy answer using partial fractions. I'm gonna use a trick to make this uh, a little bit quicker. So we have the integral between zero and infinity, and I'm essentially gonna add zero to the numerator. So we're gonna have one plus e to the x minus e to the x. So I haven't changed anything on the numerator, but this is gonna help us later on, we're gonna see. And then on the denominator, that stays the same, one plus e to the x dx. So the reason I did that is because we can split this fraction now into one. The first two terms, they're gonna cancel with the denominator, we're gonna have one. And then the second fraction, we're gonna have minus e to the x over one plus e to the x. So integral between zero and infinity, as we're saying, this is one minus e to the x over one plus e to the x dx. And now the reason I did that is because uh, we can actually evaluate this integral straight away because the derivative of the denominator is the numerator. So the derivative of one plus e to the x is just e to the x. And we can integrate this as the logarithm of the denominator. And obviously we can integrate one. So we're gonna be left with x minus the natural logarithm of one plus e to the x. Right, you can see that because the derivative of log is just one over um, the function inside. So we're gonna get one over one plus e to the x. And the derivative, using the chain rule, the derivative inside the bracket is just e to the x. So this is where we get this uh, term in here. And then we obviously need to evaluate um, the, the limits. So we have zero and infinity. The problem now is that we can't really just input the value infinity into this expression because we're gonna have infinity minus infinity essentially. But what we can do is we can interpret this slightly differently. So what does the limit integral, the integral limit, sorry, of infinity actually mean? We can also interpret this as the limit as n goes to infinity of just n. That's the same as infinity essentially. And now we can, instead of just having an expression of infinity minus infinity, we can just understand this as a limit of two terms. So what we're gonna have, we're gonna have the limit as n goes to infinity. If we just evaluate n, we'll have n minus the natural logarithm of one plus e to the n. And then just evaluating the second term, zero, we're just gonna have zero minus log of one plus e to the x, which is, so we're gonna have minus zero minus natural logarithm of one plus e to the zero, which is just one. So we're gonna have log of two. So e to the zero is one, one plus one is two. And then this, the double minus is gonna cancel, we're just gonna get plus log of two, which is really nice. Now what's left to do is just to understand this limit. I actually claim that this goes to zero. So the way we see this is we can approximate one plus e to the n. If n is a really large number, the one isn't really gonna to contribute to this value. So this is gonna be approximately the natural logarithm of e to the n which is using the power rule, we just bring down the n and then log of e is just one. So this is approximately n for large n. And then we have this limit, which is approximately n minus n, and this is gonna to tend to zero. So we see that this whole limit is just gonna be zero. And then we're gonna be left of our answer, which is going to be the natural logarithm of two, which is quite nice. So this is the answer of this integral.